Hi guys, my name's Jason. It's a little introductory video to a uh, scratch built CNC machine that I pretty much just started working on. So the first thing I want to say is I am by no stretch of the imagination a machinist or anything of the sorts. I'm basically just a dude that has some machines and I really like to build stuff. So I basically wanted to build my own CNC mill and I've watched a lot of videos, I've done a lot of research and I've seen a lot of different designs and you know a lot of them I liked but this is sort of my own take on it. This mill is composed mostly of uh, inch and a half uh, square stock, three quarter inch plate, and four by six inch by quarter inch square tubing. Uh, everything's hot rolled. So I know steel isn't the uh, best material that you want to use for any type of a machine tool. So the way I'm trying to combat any of the issues with, I guess, vibration and, and rigidity is in the four by six inch tubing on the base and also the column, I'm going to fill with epoxy granite, which I have, you know, two recycling bins full of granite that I'm gonna grind up and smash up and mix with epoxy and fill them. As far as hardware that I've somewhat acquired and what I choose or what I plan on using, uh, I'm gonna use 25 millimeter linear rails on base and also the column. Uh, as far as for the underneath the table here on the X, I'm gonna use 20 millimeter linear rails, uh, lead screws, on the base and the column, give me 25 millimeter lead screws and 20 on the underneath the table. Uh, as far as motors on this thing, I plan on using DMM servos. Uh, controller, plan on using a Masso. As far as the spindle, I plan on using a BT30 uh, ATC spindle. Uh, when this thing's said and done, I plan on this thing being like a mini VMC. Uh, I would like to build my own tool changer. It's definitely going to have an enclosure, uh, coolant. All right, so to give you some specs on this machine, the call or the base, sorry, the base is roughly 32 inches by eight inches wide. Column is. 32 inches high the bottom of it where it's gonna mount to the base is 12 inches by 8 inches the table is 14 by 8 inches and all together when I'm done these are just rough estimates I'm hoping to have 10 inches of travel in the Z uh, 14 inches of travel on the X and 12 inches of travel in the Y. All these surfaces where the rails are going to mount are all 22 inches. The reason for that is that is pretty much the longest thing that I can machine on my mill. Uh, all this is going to be made on a manual machine. and That's a pretty good overview. I just want to give you a rough idea. I mean, if you're watching this video, you obviously know where the linear rails are going to go, uh, but this is sort of my take on the design. It's just an introduction. I will go into more detail of why I design things certain ways and, uh, you know, my reasoning of building this rather than starting with a already made machine and converting it to CNC. If you find this design interesting and want to watch the process as I build this and as it starts to come to life, come to life and move and uh, see what happens, by all means, please like this video, uh, subscribe, 
you know, if you have anything you want to add, you know, maybe you think I could do things a little bit differently, you know, a any suggestions, please comment. Uh, and with that, you know, I hope everyone likes this video and hope to see you in the next one where I go in a little bit more detail 